Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Canon Ixus 100 IS. More specifically, I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the straight out of camera JPEGs that come out uh, just by default with the raw files that you can get thanks to the CHDK firmware hack. Let's take a look. Let's start with how much shadow recovery we can get from raw files on the Canon Ixus 100 IS. These first shots really push what this Digicam CCD sensor is capable of. One of the reasons I hacked my Canon Ixus 100 IS to shoot raw was that I wanted more latitude to play with color, not just when it came to exposure and dynamic range. Another bonus, for me at least, is getting the full sensor readout with RAW. On some of these shots, you see how dramatic the in-camera lens corrections can be on the Canon Ixus 100 IS. On the wide end, this Digicam point-and-shoot lens exhibits, let's say, a robust amount of barrel distortion. Now, you can only see that in the RAW output. The JPEGs have the full correction applied. Sorry, just wanted to jump in to say that I really like this next set of pictures in these underused uh, warehouses because you have the really bright sky visible through the windows, but then you have some soft light uh, on the inside and some shadow as well. I think uh, they really demonstrate, at least for me, I really enjoyed working on these images uh, as raw images versus just having uh, straight out of camera JPEGs. Something else that might not be your bag of tea, but that I like, is that in raw images from the Canon Ixus 100 IS, you get this uh, black border around the image, and I find that very appealing. Generally, when I edit these Digicam RAW images, I'm not looking for fidelity, but rather I'm chasing a certain vibe. Now, this might involve split toning, which is shifting the color of the highlights and shadows uh, in different directions. Other times, I push the exposure, I might reduce the contrast, um, and that might maybe mean that I blow out the highlights a bit. Jumping in once again, just to say something about these next two images, which were shot in this large greenhouse arboretum sort of thing. Um, I really wanted to dial in the highlights and the raw file, having the raw file available, really, I felt, allowed me to do that while maintaining the balance for the rest of the image. However, while editing raw image files from the Canon Ixus 100 IS is certainly fun, I feel that you can only enhance what's already in the image. If it's not there, then that's beyond the scope of this approach, and more importantly, of this camera in my opinion. After all, the Canon Ixus 100 IS is a digicam point and shoot. It's about capturing snapshots, as opposed to giving you a sort of photographic canvas for editing. And I'm going to finish with two examples here of when I messed up the editing, and I actually do prefer the JPEGs over my edits, but such is life. This is just to show you that having a Digicam or a CTD sensor isn't like the magic recipe for getting photos that you like. Ultimately, you have to find scenes, you have to find moments that are appealing to your photographic eye. The camera is merely there to help you capture them. Thank you so much for watching today. If you'd like to see more videos about the Canon Ixus 100 IS, please just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Have a great day and until next time.